Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos and today I'm going to be showing you all art that I made during my high school years. So originally I was going to make this into one video but I actually did a TAFE course during high school so I figure today I'm going to show you guys art that I made at high school and the next video is going to be art that I made during my TAFE course. So I hope you don't mind um, and let's get started. This first piece that I'm going to show you is from year 9 when I was 15 years old. I made this one with coloured pencils and as you can probably tell it's copied from a photograph of my class when we went to Central Australia. I feel like I did a good job with the proportions in this piece and I think I got everybody's likeness pretty well. Um, also if you're wondering that is me right there. So that's all I could find from year 9, however I do have a lot from year 10. So this is artwork that I made when I was 16 years old. So this next piece is a pencil drawing of Louis XIV. I'm pretty sure this one was actually referenced from a sculpture of Louis XIV just because the way it's been drawn doesn't look like it's supposed to be super realistic and it looks like it would have been from a sculpture. This is another pencil drawing that I did and this one doesn't have a date on it so I'm not exactly sure what year I was in. I have a feeling this is from early high school but I'm really not sure. Um, I think it's supposed to be maybe Joan of Arc. Um, I could be completely wrong though so yeah. Next we've got a self portrait. Now I remember being quite proud of this drawing when I did it but looking at it now it's really not that good. Um, I was using that as a reference. Uh, that was back when I had black hair, but I mean I kind of got my likeness, but overall I don't think it's very good, and I think it's funny to kind of compare my face to it now. So next we've got some watercolour paintings from year 10, and I've got this one here which I don't think is that great. Um, this is probably like the first and only time I've ever used something like masking fluid simply because I remember having to put down the web first and then do the painting over the top and then I peeled the stuff away. My drawing of a spider is really shit <laughs> and it's probably shit because I hate spiders and I probably didn't want to look up reference photos for spiders because then I'd get scared. So we've got this really shitty drawing of a spider um, and yeah you've just got like a mixture of colours in the background. And then I did this landscape in watercolour. I don't remember what this was for, but it's there. And then we've got another watercolour landscape. And I mean, I quite like this piece, but I'm not a huge fan of like the angles that I've got going in here. I don't know why, I'm just not a huge fan of the composition, but the actual painting is quite nice. And I think I must have used some like white acrylic paint or something because I've got couple of highlights throughout the piece. And then there's this piece here. I can't remember what this was from or what it's supposed to be, but yeah. I like how I've done the shading on the leg here. Next is actually my first oil painting that I ever did and you're lucky that I'm showing you this because I absolutely hate how it turned out. So this is it here. I think it's supposed to be a copy of one of Rembrandt's paintings. The reason I hate this piece so much is because of her face. I messed it up, I put way too much pink on her cheeks, and I'm pretty sure after that point I just stopped working on it. So you can see I didn't finish the table here, and it just looks so much better like that. The only part that I kind of like is her clothing. I think that's okay. So after my first bad experience with oil paints, um, we tried them again and I didn't mind them so much this time. So my second oil painting is this one here and I'm not sure what it's supposed to be but that's it. Um, I was really happy with how I did the shading on this, on this little figure here. And then I've got this one here which uh, I don't really think much of and this one which I think is probably my favourite out of those three. Next is this piece here. Now you'll probably recognise this because it is actually copied from one of Mucha's works. Mucha, 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 Mucha? However you say it. Um, it's copied from one of his works and I had a lot of fun with this one just because I love the Art Nouveau style and yeah, so I think this one was painted using acrylics. 
By the way, I think that painting was from year 11 when I was 17 years old. I'm sitting on the floor and it's getting so uncomfortable, but we're almost at the end. Um, next is this watercolour painting here. I think it's from the same year, however, it doesn't have a date on it, so I'm not really sure. I remember the aim for this piece was to practice doing really thin layers of watercolour. Um, I think the technique is called veiling, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure, um, but yeah. So I think this next piece is my biggest pencil graphite drawing ever. Um, it's quite large and yeah so it's just a drawing of a fox and there was no real reason behind this piece I think it was just for practice and I was quite happy with how all like the blending turned out. I've also got some practice sketches that I did here so you've got the fox there and there's like a cute little animal. In year 11 I was actually doing extra art classes so I did that fox drawing during that art class and I also did this set of self-portraits which are based off of other artists so this one here I think is supposed to be Van Gogh and then we've got Madiglian, um, sorry if I butcher any artist names um, and then this thing opens up in the centre we've got Edvard Munch and then on the right we've got Picasso and yeah I was quite impressed with how all of these ones turned out so in one of my lesson books I've got this drawing here I did that one with coloured pencil and I believe it's supposed to be Shiva. This book was about religion so that's why. And in the same book I also did this coloured pencil drawing. Next I'm going to show you the portfolio that I used to actually get into uni. Now a lot of this work I actually made it just in my own time. I didn't make it at school or at TAFE and since it helped me get into uni I thought you guys might find it interesting. So we've got my portfolio right here. I apologise for any glare and I'm probably just going to flip through this quite quickly so I did a lot of portraits of friends or people that I knew so this one here was of one of my friends there's a copy of my fox drawing um, I used to work with this girl that was one of my friends I used to work with him and then we've got Lady Gaga and this one here is actually a digital painting of Lisa from the Veronica's so we've got some more digital paintings, we've got an apple and then a cartoon version of myself. There's a digital painting of a cartoon mermaid and another portrait of a girl I used to work with. And lastly I wanted to show you all the book that I wrote and illustrated for my year 12 major work and it's this one right here. It's called My Secret Saviour and I illustrated the front and the back although there's not much back there and that is a digital painting and yes it is an actual book. So. Yeah, I can read the back for you if you like. Um, let's do that, all right. So, angels and demons have always been myths until now. These supernatural beings evolved over hundreds of years but were only discovered in 2034. They have benefited our world, giving the human population an alternative power source. But do they have the power to destroy it? Or would that task be left up to the romantic fantasies of Sierra Keller? I was very proud of this and I still am, even though I know the story could be better. Um, maybe one day I will kind of update the story, make it a bit longer and that kind of thing. Anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe as well if you're not already. So yeah, hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you all next time. Um, and for some reason this like kind of reminded me of that part in like Harry Potter where there's the, I don't know what they're called. I don't know if they're called mermaids in Harry Potter, I can't remember, but.